When you've finished designing your site, it's time to publish it to the internet. This will make it viewable to the whole world and means you can start establishing your web presence. To publish your website, you need to have two things, a unique domain name and some allocated web space, which is often referred to as hosting. In this video, I'll demonstrate how you can quickly and easily get both of these things by setting up serifwebplus.net hosting. To begin, open your site in Webplus. On the standard toolbar at the top of the workspace, click the down arrow next to Publish Site and select Publish to Web. If this is the first time you've tried to publish your site, the Publish to Web Get Hosting dialog will appear. In the Setup SerifWebplus.net Hosting and Domain Name section, click Activate Now. You'll be directed to the web hosting page on serif.com, where you can set up your hosting. If you've never had a hosting account before, you can get a 30-day free trial of the Silver Hosting Package. This is ideal for beginners, as it gives you the opportunity to try out our hosting service for free. You'll also have the option of upgrading at any time. Let's set up the 30-day trial now. Click Select below the Silver Hosting Package. Before you can set up a new hosting account, you'll be prompted to log into your Serif account. Simply type in the email address associated with your Serif account. But what if, like me, you haven't got a Serif account? Don't panic, because you'll have the opportunity to create one now. Type in the email address you'd like to use with your Serif account, and click Continue. Fill in your contact details and click Continue. Serif.com will send an activation email to the email address you used on the form. Click the activation link in the email to complete setup of your Serif account. Now you'll need to set up a hosting account. Your email address will have already been completed, but you will need to create a password and then confirm it. The next step is to create a domain prefix. Think really carefully about this because it will be the name of your website and cannot be changed once you've created it. The prefix is the part that comes before the domain name extension which is .webplus.net, .com or .co.uk. You don't need to type www. in either, just the prefix is fine. To be sure you've not made any mistakes, Confirm your domain prefix by retyping it in the Confirm box underneath. Finally, read the terms and conditions and when you're happy, agree with them. Then click Continue. Once you've successfully created your hosting account, you will be directed to the hosting package page we saw earlier. If you want to take advantage of the free 30 days of Silver Hosting, Click Continue next to this option towards the top of the page. Add your payment details ready for when the trial period ends. Once these have been accepted, your web hosting is ready to use. Click your account to view your hosting details. If you've chosen the silver hosting package like me, you'll notice that your URL ends in .webplus.net. If you want a different domain extension, you need to upgrade your account, which you can do by contacting customer services. The final thing to do before you get your website online is to add your hosting account details to WebPlus. These details will need to go into the account details dialog, which you may have noticed pop up when you clicked publish to web. Adding your hosting details is really easy to do and only takes a few minutes. For step-by-step -step instructions, watch the second video in this series Web Hosting 2, Configuring Web Plus. And that's it. I hope you've managed to successfully set up hosting and get one step closer to publishing your site to the internet. To find out more, see the Learn section of the Startup Assistant. Thanks for watching.